Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. Now I've done a plug side chat on this before but I kind of wanted to do just a case in point. I went on a weekend road trip. I'm down to probably a little bit less than 25% battery and as you know I can't charge at home. I do charge at work but I have about a 40 mile commute into work in the morning. I'm about to go shopping for some groceries and some things that I need. My grocery store here happens to have a DC fast charger implementation. And this is one of those things that I don't think should be overlooked in terms of providing charging access to people who live in apartment buildings. By focusing on grocery stores where residents in the neighborhood can charge while shopping, it will provide people with an opportunity to have electric vehicles even if they can't charge at home or work. So while I'm in buying groceries, I'm going to go ahead and start a charge session and, uh, you know, we'll see with an average charge stop just how much I get out of it. All right, well, uh, grocery shopping is done. It took about 15 minutes, maybe. Now I know some of you are probably faster than me. This was just a quick run in to grab some things that I needed uh, that I had run out of. But just in that time, I've basically added 20% uh, to my battery. And, uh, you know, we, we were joined by a RAV4 EV uh, that's on its way down to Los Angeles from here in Ventura. But the thing is, you know, this is 15 minutes. Some of you are probably going to claim that you spend less time in a grocery store than I just did. But uh, on average, Americans spend about 45 minutes in a grocery store. And on average, Americans go to grocery stores about 1.5 times per week. And that's about right for me. I know I probably spend a grand total of about an hour uh, in grocery stores over the course of a week. And if every grocery store had four to six to possibly as many as eight DC fast chargers, especially in highly urbanized areas where a lot of people live in apartments, it would facilitate a higher percentage of EV ownership not to mention it would also facilitate long distance travel sort of indirectly by giving additional charging points. I mean, consider this, we're about a mile off the freeway and someone in a RAV4 EV that's traveling back down to Los Angeles uh, went out of their way to come up to this charger to use it uh, before getting back onto the freeway and heading out. So it has that side benefit. I didn't even know they were going to show up and they sort of helped prove my point. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to try to get my voice heard on a sort of local, um, EV advocacy and EV readiness coalition. And it's, this is one of the points that I want to sort of drive or emphasize is that if you want to facilitate EV ownership in urban areas, or among people who are apartment dwellers who can't afford a, a home or whatnot or a garage to charge in, chargers at local grocery stores, DC fast chargers at local grocery stores that facilitate 30 to 40 minute charge sessions, uh, they should be high on the priority list. You know, let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you agree, um, you know, I think you should also uh, try to advocate for that in your local communities as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and uh, thank you for watching.